Hey guys, welcome back. So I wanted to talk to you about relatives because me and my friends were talking about our relatives and we discovered, it's not like we discovered, it's a known fact, yeah? And I'll be honest with you, even before discussing with my friends, I knew that's a fact, yeah? As there are good people and not, you know, bad people, okay? Just like that, there are some relatives who are nice and then there are some who are not really nice and, you know, the ones who annoy you. Um, so, you know, we asked each other these, you know, not these questions, but only one question, that do you have a family member who completely annoys you? Uh, so, because we all, you know, all of us, all my friends, like there were three, four friends, yeah, we asked each other. And then I go, well, not a family member, but relatives, because I don't consider them as a family member, okay? The ones I like, you know, I truly consider them as my family, but the others, no. Um, so... My thought is, while you can't pick your family, um, I'm sorry, while, while you can't pick your relatives, yeah, or those within it, you can choose how to react and respond to difficult situations, um, you know, with your relatives. You probably can't skip out on family functions, and perhaps you even have great relationships with all other family members, but this one, okay, a bad deal. So there are ways to handle these situations with family with more ease so that family functions can be less stressful, you know, and more enjoyable. Um, you know, we need to avoid some interactions, okay, with some those unwanted relatives, yeah. Again, I'm not saying that, you know, we shouldn't talk to relatives. I'm just saying um, it's based on the experiences of the people I know, yeah. Think about how can you, how, how you want to behave. That's number one. Before you sp before you spend time with this relative, take a few moments and decide how you want to behave. Uh, perhaps you and this relative have gotten into arguments in the past. Um, ask yourself what started these arguments and if there are ways to avoid getting into an argument. And we all heard about think before you speak. Okay. So we need to apply that term in here as well, especially if you have uh, strong negative feelings towards someone. Don't react quickly or speak without thinking. Take a breath before you speak. If you are having a hard time, you know, holding back negative comments, gently excuse yourself. Say, oh, excuse me, I'm going to use the uh, bathroom, you know, or say, oh, I'm going to see if any help is needed in the kitchen, you know, even if it's uh, untrue, but you have to do it, okay? Uh, if you have a hard time getting along with a relative, let someone in your family know about it, okay? It could be your parents, siblings, or, you know, as I said, there are nice people as well, so it could be your relative, the one you like the most. But wait, 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 no, 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 don't tell it to any relative, because, you know, maybe um, you you will tell them, and it turns out that guy was your friend, that the other guy... And then you'll be the bad guy at the end. Nah, it's a bad idea. So just tell your siblings or um, your parents, okay, that that you'd like to minimize your interactions with this person. That way, if you get cornered into a discussion or argument, you want to leave. You can signal for a rescue, okay. You can agree on a sign ahead of time if you may need a rescue at a family function, okay. It's a kind of rescue, man. So, um, for instance, you can make eye contact and give a hand signal. That means, please help me escape this situation, you know. So, but you need to enjoy yourself as well, yeah. You don't have to dread going to family functions because of a family, or because of a relative. Um, put your focus on spending time with the family you enjoy and doing activities you find fun. Even with the family member you hate um, is in the room, well, I must say the relative. The family members are also relative, are also your relatives, but, you know, let's just categorize, okay? So, um, so if you find yourself in a conversation with this relative, find a distraction to help you get through the interaction, like, you know, playing with someone like a dog, or if you, uh, yeah, you can use a mobile phone. That's the best, okay? If you fear sitting next to the relative during meals, suggest making name cards and sitting far from this person. But then again, you know, this is not possible every time because, you know, you're, they're your relatives, yeah? So it means they all sit next to you and you can't be formal with them saying, okay, you know, 
oh, Mr. Blah blah blah, you need to sit over that side, and this one has to sit in here. No, you can't do it. So, I suggest you to uh, keep serving the guests, saying, Oh, today I will, in your honor, I'll serve you guys, okay? Or just, you know, disappear. That's the only thing you can do. Um, so, one way to deal with the difficult relative is to give this person a job or a task at family gatherings, okay? <laughs> if a meal is as being made, ask the relative to chop onions or set the table and let him or her do it the way, you know, he or she wants, okay? Um, because if you want to be a superstar, yeah, if you be like, well, I'll be your manager, yeah, I'll tell you what to do, then you'll have to interact with them. No, 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 don't do it, just let them do what they're doing, okay? That way, that way the relative will feel like, he, you know, he or she is making a contribution and will be out of the way for a bit, okay? Uh, find ways to include this relative, yet also keep this person busy, yeah? Um, and now the most difficult thing I'm asking you to do is that, you know, to use humor. I know you can't, <laughs> especially if the situation is tense or uncomfortable. You can use humor to disarm difficult behavior and bring some lightness to the situation, okay? Make a casual comment that shows you aren't talking. Uh, you're you're not you're not you're, you're not taking yourself um, or the situation too seriously. Okay, don't don't show them the, don't show them that you're not talking. Yeah, just don't show them that you're not taking yourself or the situation too seriously. Okay, if your grandmother keeps telling you to put on a, a sweater, say, I should go grab a sweater for the car too. I wouldn't want her to be cold either. You know. You know, you just need to do that, okay? Also, the best thing is to have a plan, okay? What plan? If you fear interactions with this relative, um, come prepared <laughs> to the event with an exit plan, okay? Of why you need to leave, yeah? You may have a friend call you um, with an emergency, or you can say, you know, the house alarm system is going off, or that your pet is ill, whatever you find, you know, just say it. Arm yourself with a potential excuse if you are feeling uncomfortable or angry with your relative, yeah? Um, if your uncle loves to bring up politics but you'd rather not discuss it, don't engage the, you know, the conversation. Make an effort not to bring up politics when in this family setting. And, uh, you know, um, well, I'm telling you this because it happened with me um, twice or thrice, yeah? Uh, they were talking about, you know, something which I didn't like, yeah? But then I had to answered them so that's why i figured uh, a way to you know escape so even if your uncle or someone else brings it up and tries remember i said uncle not family member because i was saying family members a lot yeah so i don't want to confuse the guys so even if your uncle brings it up and tries to egg you on it's up to you how you respond if this goes for competing sport teams universities or cousin rivalries okay I can say we can agree to disagree and leave it at that or I'd really rather not get into that here and I'd prefer to have a great family gathering without this argument again, okay? So your cousin may say something really offensive that you immediately want to fight back on or correct, but take a breath, wait, relax, relax, okay? Remember, think before you speak, yeah, and decide whether it's worth engaging or not. If your grandfather says something offensive, ask yourself whether your comment will alter his perception or if it will spark a debate, yeah? Grandfathers are, you know, are fine. Look, uh, as I said, family, I consider looking at my family, sibling, parents, and, you know, grannies and stuff like that, yeah? But the relatives that we less interact with, you know, I'm referring to them in this podcast, okay? So sometimes um, you have to grit your teeth and say, you're entitled to your opinion and move on. Live and let live, yeah? So if you can't stand your relative due to a conflict, see if you can resolve the conflict between you and your your relative. Um, You may need to find time to sit down, be honest with each other, and clear the air, okay, when approaching your relative. Be kind, compassionate, and, uh, you know, non-defensive, yeah? The sooner you resolve conflicts, the less, um, you know, uh, there'll be a chance of uh, a conflict, because, of, of course, you're trying to resolve, yeah? Be willing to forgive. You don't have to ignore the situation or pretend it didn't happen, yeah? But learn to forgive so that you can release the hurt and pain from within yourself, 
yeah. So um, if you uh, have a relative that seems to want things from you, yeah, it could be anything, money, you know, a place to stay and stuff like that, don't be afraid to say no. Uh, remember that you have the right to say no if you want to consider things before you immediately, immediately say yes. You also have the right to wait and think things, you know, over before you agree to anything. You don't have to justify your response or give an excuse. Just say, I'm sorry, I'm unable to do that, okay? Um, you don't owe anyone an explanation. Always remember that. At least I say that to myself. Yeah, because uh, as I said, there are nice relatives and there are some some who annoys us, okay? Uh, so, yeah, so perhaps your difficulties arise because of certain passive-aggressive um, remarks from your relative comparing you to other grandchildren or nieces and nephews, as I said. Well, blah, 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 got into the university, but you did a great job going to community college, you know. Here, what they're trying to say is, um, okay, he went to the university, you went to the community college, okay, fine, man. So what? You don't need to compare. You may even feel um, manipulated by your relative by passive aggressive remarks or, or, or actions, yeah? If your relative is passive aggressive toward you, keep your distance, yeah? As much as possible and don't interact more than you have to. Uh, remember that it's not about you and it's not personal. Um, if you feel like you are being manipulated, uh, find an exit strategy from the conversation saying I'm going to see if any help is needed in the kitchen or I'm going to play with my nephews and stuff it could be just any reason yeah don't engage the conversation if you struggle if you struggle to enforce family boundaries with relatives firmly let them know that family rules apply or um, you know at all times yeah if you don't like how a relative treats your child you know like some who like bossing the child around, um, let this relative know that the behavior goes against family rules and family rules are enforced in and outside the home. Um, I mean, I've got these relatives the other day. Uh, basically, um, the kids were just wandering around and broke some utensils and, you know, some stuff from the showcase. And I really hated that. Okay, so... And be be upfront and matter of fact when discussing this with your relative. You know, say blah 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 is not isn't allowed to play that game at home, you know, and she's not allowed to play it here either, you know. So it could be just anything. Um, if a relative has done something unforgivable, enforce whatever boundaries allow you to feel safe, you know. If that means not inviting this relative to family functions, fully avoid you know him or her, or letting the family know that relationship is uh, you know um, is up to you, yeah. Um, but you know put the the focus on feeling safe and not on pushing you know um, you know the family member because it'll be like a punishment, yeah. So use your best judgment in telling other family members the situation. Keep in mind um, that, you know, while you feel the situation is uh, not acceptable, like, you know, it's not appreciated, yeah, your family may not feel the same way and continue a relationship um, with this family member. So while you may want your distance from your family member, for your safety, realize that, you know, this thingy can be really hurtful, both to you and your family members, yeah? Because, uh, you know, in any case, you need to take care of yourself. If you know you will be spending the day with a relative you dislike, make sure you come into the situation as prepared as possible. If this person brings out an aggressive, or, you know, um, kind of side of you, make sure you get a good night's sleep the night before. If you're feeling tired and grumpy at the family thingy, you know, an event, leave early and make sure you've eaten, you know, too. If your blood sugar is stable, you are less likely to become angry or aggressive. Because, you know, sometimes, you know, um, all sometimes are um, hurtful and it takes us down, yeah? Uh, so, you know, it's important to remember that this is more a reflection of the person that it is a few, then it is a few, you know. Uh, stand firm and remember who you are. Do your best to tune out the words and remind yourself this is not about, you know, you. Like, you know, this is someone else's projection.
So, you know, that's what it is. The, there, there is likely nothing you can do to change the person whom you don't get along. You may have a fantasy of a happy family celebrating every holiday together. Uh, and when this relative comes, it crushes the, that fantasy. Uh, it's up to you to drop this fantasy and accept that this is the t- this is the family you have and that fantasy is nothing more than a happy and nice thought that's not based in reality. Yeah. So um, uh, instead of approaching this relative in judgment, uh, you know, practice being accepting. Yeah. Listen when your your relative talks and try to understand this person's point of view. Yeah. Um, practice loving compassion for this person take a deep breath and look at your relative uh, then think okay I see you and I see that you suffer f- and you suffer and are, and are in pain yeah I don't understand your pain but I see that it, it is there and I accept that it affects me for the time being yeah so while you may dread family gatherings especially you know specifically um, because you hate having to spend time with difficult relatives undoubtedly you can find something that you can look forward to or feel grateful you know when meeting with your family maybe you're excited to see your nieces and nephews or happy you get to cook yeah so find things to be grateful for even before you arrive to the to the family functions that way you can go into the situation already you know feeling thankful so, you know, um, finally, I, I don't wish that you reach to this point that you need to see, see a therapist, but if you have a hard time moving past the hurt and pain the relative uh, has caused, you may benefit your, you know, you, you may benefit from um, therapy. A therapist can help you work through feelings, find, you know, find coping mechanism, um, see things from a different perspective and help you work uh, through underlying feelings of depression, anxiety, or other diagnosis, yeah? You may also consider family therapy if you wish to engage your relative in therapy with you. Um, while it may be difficult, it can help you confront difficult topics and discuss them with your relative. So I try my best to explain you uh, from my experience, and it's not, look, and again, it's not that you need to apply whatever I said in this podcast. I'm, I just shared because I consider you guys as my family, so uh, I said what I had to say, uh, and I wanted to share the conclusion with my friends. So, yeah, thank you very much for listening. See you next time. Okay, bye-bye.